Kayla, please like and subscribe. Once. All right, so for Holativity today, um, I am actually going to highlight the project Kinji. Kinji. Um, they're a meme token on the Solana side. Great people, by the way. But they actually tweeted out, the best feeling in the world is giving back to the children. Those who finally, or those who feel they have a lost voice in the world. We hear you and work, we're working hard to build a successful, bigger community to hold several of these events worldwide. So it from the pictures and you can't really see them i had a hard time figuring out how i was gonna like screenshot them they had a event that kinji actually sponsored for the kids and so and i don't know if you guys know but kinji also they are uh affiliated with a <clears throat> a dog rescue organization and so they do donations to this organization regularly and certain like milestones that they hit they'll send money over to this foundation and you know how i am with pets this one also hit me because it was with the kids and i feel like they should be highlighted of everything that they're doing just both with children and with the animals so thought they deserved it that's awesome yeah that was a good one Greg, or Greg. Oh, Josh, you're muted. Josh, you're muted. Oh, sorry. I try to do that so I can clear my throat when you're doing those things. And I forget to turn it back on. When it comes <laughs> to Kenji, do you know how, how long that they've been around? Because I've just started hearing about them over the last um, maybe a week or two. So I know they've been around not quite a year, but almost. Like they've been around okay. for, I don't know. Longer than I realized. Yes, longer than you realized. Um, And they're just great. They have a little mascot, you guys. His name is Kenji. He's a that little dog. <laughs> so beautiful. I love their stories when they put it out there about him because he's just so cute. So I, I, I really like that project. And they just kind of are, you know, they're, uh, they're partners with Interlink. Mm -hmm. yes. so, yeah. yeah. And that was a, a like sooner thing that happened, but. Have you noticed the, the partnerships that Interlink has been involved with recently? Like they're just down to earth yeah. people and projects. And I would encourage anybody that has time, if you see Interlink space, I think it actually is coming on before our podcast now. I think I saw it right before yeah. I logged on. Was and it? We yeah, will have to talk about that and we'll have to talk about it off the air, but there may be some time changing things going on with NFL football season getting ready to kick off in a few weeks. We'll, we'll get more into that maybe next week so we can let people know what we're thinking because we haven't actually got it figured out. But yeah, how was your family feud space yesterday or Friday? I'm sorry. It was actually really good. I enjoyed it. I had I had fun. I needed the laugh. Um, and, you know, I think that a lot of people weren't really – like they didn't know if it was going to happen or not. So we didn't get like this huge turnout, but really when it's all said and done, we only need eight people to play. So, <laughs> so we don't, you know, and so, but all the regulars were there other than seven. I did notice seven didn't make it, but he had some stuff he was dealing with. So yeah, but it, it was, it was a lot of fun. We laughed really hard. As isn't, we all it, isn't it weird how you like when you are super consistent on anything for a long time and then you miss it for like one or two, yeah. weeks or days or whatever the consistency is that all of a sudden it messes up your whole schedule. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to like get back into the norm of things. So, yeah, I think that's what really happened. Um, I'm going to try to figure out, you know, how I can do it almost every week. Um, mm -hmm. Unless it's something critical, like next week I do have to move the daughter in. And so I'm trying to figure out what time is going to be the best time because I'll be in Tucson. So no. But, yeah, and how far away is she moving? Um, about an hour and a half. Okay, so doable. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Doable. Okay. She yeah. Has school, like, my family is all down there. Like my brother, my sister in law, all the kids. Her dad's side. Almost a hundred percent of them are in Tucson. So she has the support. In the you people. just lost all the support from the comment section. Everybody was thinking she was moving like eight like hours away. No, but, but the 
the fact still is, is I'm not there. Me, yeah, yeah, like everybody can be there, but me. And so, yeah, I'm trying to convince the husband that maybe we should just move. I mean, yeah. we can move down there and he just kind of looks at me like, I'm zoo? yeah, that's probably <laughs> why he looks at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. You realize uh -huh. we have to get a lot of land. So, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I, uh, going back to family feud, I was really excited. So it was ghost birthday. So mm -hmm. happy birthday to ghost once again. Um, and you know, he had picked his squad and then the people that were playing against him were the girls squad. And it was all girls. It was an all girl team. And they were doing <laughs> really bad the first one and two rounds. And then round three, they picked it up and ended up beating them. So I have to give a shout out to the girl squad. That was Maria, Ash, Monica, and Amber. It was oh. funny, Holly, because like they would lose the initial question and then ghost team would get all the way through and they I would know. flub up and then they got a chance to steal and they wouldn't steal it. And the ghost team would get the points and it happened the first two rounds. And I thought, oh, this is going to be a blowout. Triple points though in that third round. No, actually. So the thing is, is, you know, ghost team, they were getting some of the answers right, but they weren't the like one or two. They, and yeah. so the points ended up being, I think that it was 94 to 91 at round three. Oh, and wow. so they were just barely losing. So it didn't matter triple the points. It's whoever yeah. won the last round and girl, girl squad won it. I was really proud. I was really proud. <laughs> <of that. laughs> Are you asking family feud questions today? Because if oh, not, going to. okay, that's fine. Because I just don't want to go spoiler alert. The family feud question that really blew my mind that nobody answered was top five things that you catch. I, I'm butchering it. Do you remember what, which when one I'm talking about? A coma? No. Shark? Name something that gets passed around. <laughs> passed around. That's it. Name something that gets passed around. Nobody named the number one answer. And I'm like yelling at my phone, a cold, a cold, a disease, something like that. Yeah. Um, joint. <laughs> yeah, that was like six. But well, that, that was the number one answer. And I don't think anybody ever guessed it. Even when they tried to steal it, nobody got the number one answer on that. So yeah, I so, could have helped out a team that, that night. But that's the only night I could have. A little spoiler. Um, I am trying to come up with, a, a way to incorporate the viewers as well, the after the fact, because I go back and I watch our podcasts and I notice that when we ask the questions, we're like just sitting here and waiting. Yeah. And so I feel like people who watch, cause we do get people who watch after the fact are like, what are, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so I just feel like I need to incorporate it somehow where they can win too. If you know, you watch after the fact. So I, I'm going to come up with a fun new game for everybody. Um, but well, yeah. and you know, you know what, Holly, the comments that are coming up now are actually on the side of the video in YouTube. So if you did something and it was a first one in the comment when it wasn't live, it would show up in a different list. So you could do something. Oh, to wait, that how effect. Come I don't see that. It it's, a there's days. a time delay. It depends on how quick you watch it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. you have to wait till Monday or the comments don't show up. If you watch it on Sunday, the comment because it hasn't processed fully and it won't do it. And basically what it's doing is it's mm -hmm. checking everything to make sure we haven't screwed up some copyright thing. Mm -hmm. Because like, if yeah, there's Matt one screw type up, something in the comment. <laughs> yeah, or if, if something <laughs> bad's in the comment, because it, it, if it, yeah. one thing happens, it will kill the whole comment section and it'll be gone forever. You'll never see it. Yeah. So, Matt. but okay. it was uh, that we could figure that out. I think for sure. Well, I just think a cool, fun game where everybody can be involved, where it, even if like our live people can win something during, but after the fact as well, like somebody that's, that's you know, watching on a Tuesday. Caleb, please like and subscribe.